Senator, Mr. President, how are you, sir? It's an honor to see you. Wave to the fake news media. Hello, folks. It's great to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. you nice to sit? see you. You want to stand? What do you want stand, to do? Stand, stand. Uh, first, what is your camera? Tell right. me. Right here? Okay. Yeah, you can look right here. First, you can thank Laura Ingram, who's given oh. us extra Hannity time tonight. Well, she's very special, and she's doing well. You know what? She's doing well. She's a big supporter of yours. But what do you make of where the Kavanaugh hearings are now? There's a new set of demands that have come out. I think it's a very sad situation. He's an outstanding person. And frankly, Sean, to see what's going on is, is just very, very sad. You say, why didn't somebody call the FBI 36 years ago? I mean, you could also say, when did this all happen? What's going on? Uh, to take a man like this and be smirched. Now, with that being said, let her have her say, and let's see how it all works out. But I don't think you can delay it any longer. They've delayed it a week already. And, and you've, been very, about, you've been very accommodating. I have been accommodating. I say, let her say what she has to say, and let's see how it all comes out. But they've delayed it a week, and they have to get on with it. Yeah. Mr. President, you, you're dealing with a lot, a lot of good economic news today. And there's a lot of media people, it seems like all they ever talk about, and John Solomon and Sarah Carter broke a big story tonight. Great people. And what they're saying is, is that even the intelligence community and the FBI didn't want to give the intel to the Obama administration because there were conflicts, and they would weaponize it against you. That's our new information. Well, I'm not surprised to hear it. If you look at what's been going on over the last couple of years, and I'm not just talking about from the time I won the presidency. This took place when I was winning in the primaries. I mean, you look at what's going on, I'm not surprised to hear anything. Before the election, after the election, even the media leak strategy, Lisa Page had testified that for nine months they had no evidence at all whatsoever. But it seems to be coming to an end. Well, it has to come to an end. It's so bad for our country. I call it the witch hunt. It is so bad for our country. And when you see Strzok and Page and McCabe with his lies, they gets fired for lying. You see all of the things in Comey for lying and leaking. You see what went on. It's got to come to an end. So bad for our country. The irony in all of this is I have been uncovering all of this when you think about it. Clinton bought and paid for, used funneled money a dossier, foreign national put it together. A lot of money. They never verified, yep. they never corroborated, and it was the bulk of information. You have now you have now said declassify and redact it. How soon will that be coming? Well, we're moving along, we're working along. We're also dealing with foreign countries that do have a problem. I must tell you, I got called today from two very good allies saying, please, can we talk? So it's not as simple as all that. And we do have to respect their wishes, but it'll all come out. You know what? Elections are about peace and prosperity. Your economic record, I talked about it earlier in the show tonight. Record low unemployment, 14 states, African Americans, Hispanic Americans, women, youth unemployment. We have great news on the economy. Better news with Kim Jong un. He's not firing rockets over Doing Japan. Very well, with honestly, Korea, North Korea, South Korea. Things are working out very nicely. Tough sanctions very, very against nice. Russia and the Iranian economy and the Chinese economy are both going down as you have taken a tough stand. Well, it's time to take a stand on China. We have no choice. You know, it's been a long time. They've been hurting us, and our farmers are great, and our farmers are starting to do very well again. It's very interesting. But we're putting very, very heavy sanctions and other things on various countries. And we're getting along with some countries. But we've been ripped off, Sean, by the world. All of these countries for years and years, and we can't do it anymore. Well, you're so getting better deals with Mexico. We made a good deal with Mexico. Good for both. Good for Mexico. Good for us. Everybody's happy. NAFTA was a disaster. We lost thousands of plants. We lost millions of jobs. NAFTA was a disaster. We've renegotiated it. We're in the process of working now on Canada. We'll see what happens with Canada. Canada's been tough. They charge 300 percent tariffs on dairy products. Our farmers, no good. You can't do that. So uh, we'll probably be able to see, we'll see what happens. I know By this the way, it'll work out well anyway. Go ahead. I'll ask one last question because there's a lot of people in this arena waiting for you, as you can see. I'll ask, I'll ask one Amazing. final question. Amazing people. 
47 days from now is the midterm elections. 47 days. We know what the agenda of the Democrats are. They want to go after you. They want endless investigations. They want to keep Obamacare. They want to eliminate ICE. They want open borders. They want the crumbs back, your tax cuts. And I, my question is, the question that every American ought to ask is, are we better off than we were two years ago? What do you say to those people that love you, but maybe aren't so hot on their Republican House or Senate member? You got to go out and vote. We need more Republicans. We'll get everything we want. We need more Republicans. You want to protect your Second Amendment. You want to protect everything. You want to protect all of the great success that you've had over the last little more now than a year and a half. Think of it. We're coming up, can you believe it, on two years when you and I started talking. Actually, This three. is what happened. When you came down the escalator. Well, yeah, if you talk about the campaign itself. But I will say this. You've got to protect. Look at what's going on with the Supreme Court. If we're not there, because we're all together as a group, if we're not there to protect, it is going to be some really bad day for this country. So we're protecting. But we made tremendous gains. You know, the stock market today, it's a good day to do an interview because the stock market today hit the highest level in its history. Today. Now, did you work this interview out no, specifically I didn't. for that? <laughs> but it was up very big today, but it hit the highest, all of the markets today hit the highest level. Now, 401ks are up 57 percent in a short period of time. If the Democrats get in, those numbers will be cut in half. You will Obama see bad never, things. Obama never made three, the only president in history that never made three percent GDP growth in a year. All right. The budget negotiations. Are you going to demand you challenge Republicans, fund the wall completely? Will you insist on We're it? We're getting one point six billion. We're continuing. We spent three point two billion. We're continuing to build the wall. I'd like to do it. I could do it so quickly. I'd like to do it in one piece. The Democrats are holding us back. I am told by Republican leadership, and I hope they do it because there are a lot of people counting. See the people with the wall? I want the wall too. Yeah. They, got, they got it down. That they will do it immediately after the election. We've got a billion six. Mm -hmm. A lot of money, but not when it comes You've to building. We've already got three billion you spent. We've got 3.2 billion. It's being built. We've got a billion six. But we have to do much better than that because we can do it very quickly. And you know the bottom line? We need it. The Democrats, they want open borders. They want people coming in. That means crime. We're the opposite. Mm. You got to have a border. You don't have a border. You don't have a country. You it's know about that. Security. It's securing it's about security. Securing our children. Are, it's about. And you want a door in your wall. Oh, it's going to have lots of doors. People are going to come in, but they're going to come in through merit. And they have to come in because we have companies moving in from all over the world. They're coming back to the United States. The biggest companies, Foxconn, the biggest companies in the world are coming back. We need people, but they have to come in through merit. Yeah. Mr. President, thank, thank you. you. And thank you. Can you thank Laura again? She's probably going to be mad at me. Laura, I love your show. I watch <laughs> it all the time. And you know what? You are special. You really are. It's a good combination. Thank you, Mr. President. I know this crowd. You ready to hear the president? Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.